So this week I wanted to try something different and ordered a balisong or butterfly knife. Uh, it was supposed to be delivered on Saturday, so then I would have it in time to make this video. Mail? Mail? Mailman? And uh, I waited for it and it took until today to figure out where it was because it was delivered but delivered into the wrong mailbox because it was a small enough box that you could just stick it in a mail slot instead of actually talk to somebody. Uh, but we worked it out. So here you go. You get to see what this looks like. So I've only figured out a few things so far, but I can show you what I figured out. So first you have to open it. Um, one way to do it is to go out, across, and back. And now you've got a knife and you can uh, you know, cut your apples or a uh, little something, whatever you do with a knife, right? And then if you do the reverse of that, then you get it back and you're good to go. Put it back in your pocket, get back to what you're doing, no problem. Uh, the other one, which I think is a little bit easier, is if you hold it sort of upright, right? And then you can just go down, up, down, and now you've got a knife and you can use the knife. There's definitely a lot more tricks that involve lots of twirling around, changing hands and doing stuff. Like if you've ever seen a movie where they have butterfly knives in them, you get, you get what's uh, possible. Um, but that's how much I learned in like one day. I guess from here there's just like doing this enough times that it becomes nice and fluid. And uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get. I'm not really interested in being super amazing with this or like they even have competitions and stuff when people can be together of who can do the craziest uh, flips and, and tricks. I don't really care. I also have no intention of ever getting a knife that's not actually a working knife, just because knowing me, I would for sure forget what I was doing one day and just like cut off half my fingers. Um, but you know, it's something to cool to try. And uh, for like 20 bucks, why bother just thinking about it and wondering and you can just try it and if it's, uh, if it's fun, then it's fun, and if it's not, then you spend 20 bucks to find out it wasn't fun, which is a little more than if you went to a movie you didn't like. Also, I watched another video where a man gave very practical advice and said, the, actually, the fastest way to open this if you needed it for combat situations or whatever is literally just to go like this. Like all the fancy flipping and twirling, he was like, that's all done. All you really need to do is just go like that and get to work. But, uh, I mean, I have no intention of stabbing anyone. Obviously, with this, I can't even, like, I'm not even sure this is good as a butter knife. Also, unfortunately, I don't have the right size screwdrivers to adjust these screws. Adjust these screws. So one side is a lot looser than the other side. Where, see, this side doesn't really swing as freely as it should. And I've been told even with fancy expensive trainers or knives, you're still going to need to adjust those when you get them before they're like actually playable. I just don't have the thing to adjust it. I tried like, you know, just loosening it up some, maybe if I work it in enough, it would work, but that has only helped a little bit because it was much stiffer than it, than it is now. And, but yeah, so there we have it a cheap trainer knife where even if you live somewhere where the knife itself is not legal the trainer is and you can just play with the trainer the whole time and not worry about having an actual working blade and uh, that's cool so it doesn't matter so there you go it's something that uh, might be fun to play with 
uh, if you're looking for something to do to fidget with you don't have to be standing up to do it which is handy you can just sit on the couch and fiddle with it while you watch something kind of like the beglery it's only this I feel like you're gonna drop less until you start to do some of the flippy stuff so hopefully you had a nice weekend and you got some rest and if you had to work during that time then hopefully you get some rest coming up after that but uh, you know have a nice weekend drink some water and uh, see you next week.